Hello and welcome back to the Lonely Man podcast. This is episode... Oh, actually, this is episode... Seven. After the Am I a Rumba episode, which was quite a treat for some people. Um, a lot of people quite enjoyed the title, a lot of people quite enjoyed the name. So that was lovely. Um, today, we are going to be having a natter about a couple different things. But let's just get to it. My name's Ollie. I am the Lonely Man. And this is my podcast. <laughs> Let's do our first segment, which I've realised I've not prepared for. So we're going to try and MacGyver it at the table, but we're going to talk about our first beer. It is our first and only beer. We're not doing more than one today. Um, Heineken. Uh, fittingly, I found this bottle because yesterday we beat Germany. Uh, and Heineken being a German beer, the English flag, uh, England flag being on there, I thought it was quite fitting. So yeah, we, we beat them. I think it was 2-0 in the end. Um, so quite a quite a good beat. Uh, the question is now, how do I open this bottle? Normally I have a bottle opener nearby, but it turns out, not today. Could I use a hammer? Maybe. Do I want to use a hammer? No. <laughs> Shit, really? We always have stuff nearby. And the one time that I, I didn't think about it, I don't have it. This is very annoying because I've put my keys in the kitchen and I don't seem to have anything else to open this thing. And I don't want to do the thing that some people do, which is use their teeth. Because I don't like that. It scares me. It makes me worried that I'm going to hurt my teeth. And in all likeliness, knowing me, I probably would. Um, this is annoying. Okay, well, give me one second. Bottle open acquired. So, let's do our usual. Oh, get that audio. Got to get that audio. Lovely. Okay. So, we'll pour a little bit out. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. A beautiful beer colour. All of the beers so far, I don't think I've really got a distinctive colour for other than this. Amber. Beautiful. Smell. Heineken's got a very defined smell as well, I feel. I could never describe these smells, but I could tell you it's Heineken. Kind of smells like the Peroni. It's just very strong. Um, I would love to know it, what hop smells like, and I'd love to say it's a very hoppy smell. So let's go with that. A very hoppy smell. Delicious. Perfect. I like Heineken. Um, really not a um, abruptive taste, quite... Uh, standard on the palette, I'd say. Um, it is a 5%, but you really wouldn't be able to tell. Um, that comes to how many units? 1.7 units. It's a 5%. You really wouldn't tell that it's a 5%. Um, it's very mellow, very nice. I mean, the Germans just know what they're doing, except in football. Um, but yeah, so just quickly, I'm dressed like this, very smart, because... I came home from work today and I was like, oh, I'm going to chill, take everything off, just have a laugh. And then I thought to myself, it's Wednesday. Shit. Because <laughs> I didn't film this. I did. I've done many things this week. I've filmed loads of Minecraft episodes. We're up to like episode 10 on Minecraft now. It's overtaken the podcast by like four. Um, not that 10 episodes are live yet, just that they're up. I'm looking at them here. Um... But yeah, so I came home from work, I was like, oh, it's a Wednesday, shit, I need to record. So, we're recording, editing, and uploading this tonight, and it's already 7 o'clock. Normally, this should have gone out by now, about an hour and 20 minutes ago. So, we're in a time debt right now, so we've got to try and make up for it as quick as possible. My upload's going to take about an hour, this is going to take about 30 minutes, so we're already an hour and 30 more in debt, and then <laughs> maybe 10 minutes to render it all together so if we're an hour and 20 now plus an hour and 40 we're like three hours behind but it's fine we're okay um i'm sorry to anyone who was very desperately waiting for this podcast although realistically the last one didn't get that many views so i'm not super worried necessarily that people are eager to watch it um <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I enjoy that the people that watch it enjoy it. That's the main thing. Talking of that, let's just let's just do the uh, let's do the comments while we're here. 
So we had one comment from last week's video from Ready Made Lobotomy, which is, oh my god, Barcelona in Brazil, my man's has never played GeoGuessr. And that is true. Well, I have, but I'm really bad at it. I just put, yeah, my geography is so dumb because I'm bad at geography. Bad, bad, bad at geography. Anyway, moving on then. So yeah, I'm, I'm just an absolute mess right now. Um, I wanted to talk about today is moving, in fact, because I've got to move soon. Uh, in fact, in 21 days, I have to vacate this area and I don't know where I'm going yet. That's the fun part about moving. No, it's not. It's, it's stressful. Um, I haven't found a new place yet and I've got to start packing everything up and getting ready when I don't know where I'm going to go. So it's a little bit... Uh, um, so we've got, yeah, we've got 21 days. I want to try and pre-pack. Now, this is something I've done horribly multiple times. So when I left my uni halls initially, so initially what I did was when I first came to London, because I'm from Devon initially, I moved up and that was easy because my family pestered me to pack everything because they drove me up. I then put all of that into halls and then I stayed there for a year. And then my halls ended and my new place started a bit afterwards. So I actually had to use the storage company that I'm working for now, funny, to, um, to store my stuff. I packed really late uh, and then I had to rush and it was just a bit of a whole, ugh, like it felt dirty because you're like, you're like just ramming things in boxes. It's not neat. It's not done right. So I did that and then I, I put it all into storage and then I came and took it out and that was easy. Then I moved into my next place, which was in Camden and I was there for a bit and I lived there and that was fine. And then when it came to moving again, again, I left it very last minute and I was just like, oh, great. Good job, Ollie. So this time, this time I want to do it completely different. I've already got through that door there. I've already got 20 boxes. So the boxes are here. Cool. We're prepped for boxes. I'm then going to build the boxes. I'm off tomorrow on the Thursday. So I'm going to build the boxes. And I'm going to start to pack up some of my kitchen stuff because I like to cook and I have a lot of kitchen stuff, like just obscene amount of knives and stuff. So I've got to do that uh, and then I'm going to basically try and make sure that everything around me that is not needed is packed except like this stuff really, my desk and everything and this will be the last thing to be packed. Um, the nice thing about this time is I have a car of my own. The last two moves I've done I didn't actually have a car so it was a bit annoying because last time uh, my girlfriend's sister helped me. So we chucked it all in her car, moved it from Camden to here. Great. And now this time I'm going to do it myself. So I need to find somewhere, move all my stuff over there and then be just done. Um, so should be hopefully soon. Hoping it will have good internet. Very worried because I'm going to do a room share. So hopefully good internet and then I won't have to suffer for bad uploads or anything. Because soon also my friend Lewis is moving to Bristol and then I'll be streaming again. And if I have bad internet, no one will watch my stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I plan to stream again soon. I think it'll be um, good fun to do. I think it's great promotion for my gaming content on this channel. And I think it's really, um, really a, a good thing to do. And it's good fun. I enjoy it. So I just want to do it with someone a little bit more because it can get a bit tiresome doing it alone for a couple hours. Which is why when I film my Minecraft episodes, for example, I film them in 30 minute chunks and I upload them. I'm always three ahead of myself. So currently the one that is live is episode seven, the last one that went live. And then I'm three ahead. So I've already got episode 10 filmed um, and it's all uploaded already and scheduled so that. Um, oh, I just realized the scheduling's done wrong. Doesn't matter. Um, I'll fix that in a bit. Um, so that then everything goes live when it needs to go live. And that makes more sense. So uh, the plan is just to hopefully have good internet, then start streaming. I've got a vlog made. It's not re edited. It's all filmed, just not edited yet. I vlogged my experience of getting my vaccine the other day. So I got my vaccine done on, let me get the exact date. The 27th of July, June, June. I'm not pre-recording this, it's June. Um, so I got my vaccine done on the 27th of June. 
So I decided what would be fun would be to sort of vlog my experience because everyone seems to have different experiences and it's just a bit of a fun video. I need to get that up, edited and uploaded very soon, but it's coming. Uh, so I've, I've vlogged that, so that's coming and I just, I'm slowly trying to really get all the content going on this channel and really start to pump it out because I think it's, um, it's good to have this constant content. I mean, we've got so much now, like technically we've uploaded 38 things, including all the old stuff and everything. So we've got a lot of content on this channel and I'm really hoping that that will slowly start to bring new people in. I want to get another ad done soon. Um, I don't know what to put it on. Ads are difficult. Because, yes, if you go off of what the last one did, if I do the exact same thing, I'll get around 1,300 views. 1,400 is what it's on right now. But I need it to be a good video, enough so that people will go, ah, I want to stay here. So it's hard to pick where to put it. So I'm just trying to sort of eyeball it for now and see what I can do. I don't know if I want to put it on more Minecraft content or whether I maybe want to put it on the first episode of the Lonely Man podcast. Because I want to equally promote everything. I think if I equally promote everything, it will be nice to do. So it's possible that actually that might be where I put the next one on Lonely Man podcast episode one. And we give that video a big boost, hopefully. And maybe we'll get some more people staying here. I don't fully know. But... It's definitely worth a shout. So we'll consider doing that and getting that video, hopefully some more people, because the last one did us so well. We've got 70 subs now and I'm so happy with all of you. Every single one of you is an adorable person. Um, I especially want to give a thanks to the one of the greatest commenters right now, which is Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun has commented religiously, if he's here, hello. He's commented religiously on every single one of my Minecraft videos now. And I absolutely love that man. Uh, it brings joy to my face because I check my emails quite regularly and I get an email, it's in my social account and it just says, you've got a new comment. And the joy that I get when I see a comment through there and because he comments quite regularly, it brings me so much happiness throughout my days when I upload. And it's so great to see. So thank you so much to, uh, for you to just genuinely being there all the time and just amazingly. Um, I'm hoping that people who watch this also watch my other content and that would be good fun. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and sort of keep going with this channel, keep pushing it forwards, which would be nice. Talking about other things that have happened in life, uh, nothing, nothing, I've done nothing. I want to do more vlogs. This is the problem in my life though. My life is very boring right now, especially with COVID. As it cal calms down a bit, I find myself doing more things, but it's not things that like are that interesting like I go on dates with my girlfriend obviously but I'm not gonna vlog my date with my girlfriend it would be weird just to be like hey we're here together on a date it'd just be weird so and she's I don't think she's uber keen to be here yet so she might be a cameraman for some things but we'll see um, but yeah, so I'm starting to do more things. So I want to maybe start vlogging more. So that might be another thing that starts appearing on this channel. We might have the podcast and the vlog and then the Minecraft. What might happen also is I might slowly, I might reduce the Minecraft eventually and play another game. So there'll still be the same amount of content. Just the Minecraft might, I might take it off from one day and put another game in there and just see. But for now, I'm really ha I'm having so much fun with that series. So much fun. It takes everything for me to stop on that 30 minute mark because I, I don't want to burn myself out on it. So it takes me so much. I do so much little bits offside. So like I do mining and stuff just to like cover my bases. So I have stuff to do in the episodes. But honestly, I'm loving it. And the engagement really helps. I think that's one of the reasons why it's more fun. It's because I've got people commenting and having a laugh with me and it's great fun to do. I did have someone ask if it, they could join because um, I think they, they thought it was a ser server, which I understand. It's very hard to sort of see the difference sometimes, um, but it is just a single player let's play, which um, is good fun. It's, it's an interesting thing when it comes to sort of making a server though for a, um, a Minecraft server because they kind of die out unless you can get some really good people in. I've been a part of a good couple and they do kind of just slowly decline over time, which is sad, but um, 
It's the case for a lot of things. It's very hard to keep up with one thing consistently. Like this channel was a really difficult thing at the start for me to be consistent on. But now, besides Nene, I'm fairly consistent on it to the majority of like my videos, which is nice. I need to move on from this. Well, we always end up talking about this channel on the podcast, and it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be talking about random things. Oh, one thing I probably haven't done this episode, actually. Heineken. Uh, German flag. <laughs> so bad with the pointing. Uh, the German flag. Heineken is made in Germany. We just didn't put the flag up there. I like doing that. It's good fun, to be fair. I have to go and find a flag, and then I have to find this timestamp and put it in. <laughs> Provides uh, future Ollie some real, real fun. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a busy week. Um, one thing I did want to talk about actually, which I can grab now because we have demonstration stuff, is my wonderful little bonsai. I'm growing a bonsai. This is a Japanese black pine. I have it in this terracotta pot for now, which isn't the best pot for it because it's quite deep, but it's the best pot I have for it. And I was thinking about it today because I was thinking about um, what I want to do on my next podcast. I just forgot it was a Wednesday today. Um, bonsais are beautiful because what it is, a bonsai is someone's gone, because I was looking at some trees as I was driving home. A bonsai is someone's gone, that's lovely. And they've gone, I just really want to capture that entire chunk of life for a second that I can see and just make it really small so you can keep it. Like when you look at like professional, like five grand bonsais, if you almost set it in the distance, it would just look like a beautiful tree on like a hill or something. And they're stunning. And the, the stuff that some people do with them is amazing. I've been growing this from a seed now for like, like this is, this is from a seed. I had loads of seeds and this is the only one that has survived. Um, sad times. The rest of them, RIP. But um, they're really finicky to grow. In fact, I was growing one in the same pot initially. Not this pot, I had a smaller pot. I was growing two together because I didn't have another pot at the time. And one of them has died. So now one has survived. He's the only survivor. And um, it's a bit sad. I wanted more, but I think I'm probably good to just have one. I think it would be uh, quite a lot for me to have multiple trees um, scattered around my room. So yeah, bonsais take ages though, because realistically, I think every a lot of people get confused and they think it's another type of seed. It's the same seed. So if I really wanted to, if I didn't want to make this into a bonsai, I could just grow this into a Japanese black pine. But what you do for a bonsai, on the other hand, is you kind of like restrict its growth and like clip its roots and stuff so that it has to stay really tight and small and almost grow outwards rather than upwards and outwards. Um, because they get, they get really thick eventually. Um, and then they can just sort of like, eventually you can almost just, because you keep them in very restrictive pots, you can water them and all it does is just kind of hold them there. And they're just like, I'm just surviving. I'm not growing. I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing here. They're very stubborn, I think, in the end. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful little things. Um, and I'm hoping that as this podcast goes on and maybe when we get to like pff, episode, well, if it's every week, right? Episode 52 is a year of doing this. So we've already been doing this. This is episode 7. So we've already been doing this for 7 weeks. Almost 2 months. Um, but episode 52 will be about a year in. And I'm hoping we'll see some real change and development in my little bonsai as we go. I'll bring him out every so often and show you um, him. I kind of wanted to name him Bonsley. I don't know why. Bonsley the bonsai. Um, so that's his name. Little Bonsley. And um, we're going to sort of slowly watch his progress. If he dies... It'd be very sad. Um, I really don't want him to die. I want one at least. One bonsai. I'm very tempted if he dies. Touch wood. Touch his tiny little stem. Uh, if he dies. Sorry, I was touching wood. <laughs> if he dies, I'm very tempted to buy a bonsai. Like a good bonsai. And try and look after it. Because I think they're beautiful. And they're very like... Um, what's the term? So it's like this like uh, peaceful I'm gonna use I don't know what the term is that I was thinking of uh, they're very peaceful to look at and then when you've got to prune them and stuff they're very nice uh, all round it's quite a, a beautiful little thing I like the Japanese culture I like their food I like their their plants I like everything that they do Japan is somewhere that if we can go on this channel we go into Japan 
we so go into Japan. It would be an amazing experience to do, and pff, who wouldn't, to be fair? But if we can, if we can get some money coming in, and we can go to Japan, we're gonna travel, boys. Is all I'm saying. Anyway, I think I'm actually gonna cut this episode short because it's very rushed. I don't feel, I don't feel a good vibe from it. I don't feel like I'm, I'm putting forward the the same energy because I feel like I, I know I'm rushing it, and I, I came home basically and immediately started working on this. So it's been wonderful having you as always, people, and stay tuned for all my other content. And if you just like the podcasts, they're out every Wednesday at six o'clock. If you like anything else, it's on the weekdays I upload for six o'clock. If it's the weekend, it's 12 o'clock. So you have more time to watch it in the day. So have a wonderful day, everyone. And please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and tell your family about this so we can hit 100 subs. We're so close. Thank you very much.